How can you contact social media influencers? For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. Obviously, once we're gonna start the process of you know finding the social media influencers that we can potentially work with, I recommend for you guys to check out this tool. It's called the Hyper Tool. Uh, it's gonna look like this, and the website is called hyperbrands.com. It's gonna be hyper h-i-p-r brands.com and once you get to the website it's gonna look like this again i have a previous video showing you guys kind of how to use this tool uh, you guys can check that out for now i'll pretty much just go over kind of the steps that you guys can utilize when it comes time to actually contact these influencers so you want to start with this tool and obviously you know search for the influencers that make sense for your you know whatever product you're trying to promote or you know that you're trying to sell with your shopify store and when you're first getting started you obviously want to look for some personal pages like you know specific people that are known for the out let's say if you're selling an outdoor product you want to look for some personal pages for people that are known to you know obviously work in the outdoor space maybe selling pet products maybe people that are known to work in the pet space obviously you want to start off with personal pages that's off of course the next thing you want to do is you also want to look for different blogger pages and different fan pages these pages usually don't have a face attached to them usually like the owner of the page won't ever make any posts with like their own face on it they usually keep it pretty general where it's just around a specific category whether that category be pets whether that category be outdoor they usually keep all their posts around that specific niche and you guys can check it out it's real simple you can pull up either instagram twitter you specifically for the shout outs that i want you know for people to try out is of course instagram shout outs because we know that those work but also try out twitter influencers and see how that can also work out because again i did hear from a good buddy of mine that's also in the e-commerce space that twitter influencers uh, is also another area that people are underutilizing. back to what i was saying though so again you want to make sure you're looking for blogger pages and fan, fan pages right now specifically there are tons of people that are doing you know instagram influencers or just working with influencers overall and, and many social media platforms so these people that have huge followings that have really good social media profiles they get tons of messages day in and day out so you want to make sure that obviously you know you're messaging them but also you know many different people as well because the more people you message the more likely you have a chance of actually getting a response from someone and the more likely you have a chance to actually you know be able to work with one of these pages I'd recommend it for sure to make a list at about 20 or 30 luckily you guys don't have to do it like how I used to have to do it which is literally go on Instagram and search one by one go through all these different hashtags and search all these different pages you guys can actually utilize the hyper tool and it makes it a lot easier to find all the different pages that you guys you know can potentially work with I would say for sure get a list ready once you have a list ready you want to make sure that you start looking to see where and how you can contact them right usually they all have emails I've actually tried to use this email when I first got started and it worked really well for me so you guys can actually try it out and you literally use this as a swipe file basically you want to have you know your subject line you want to be straight up you want to let them know exactly what the message that you're sending is for so you want to let them know ahead of time this is a paid post so your subject line could be as simple as you know paid post all in caps so they know specifically that the email you're going to be sending out is again a potential deal that they can actually work on or work with you on for the tech it doesn't have to be anything crazy you you guys can experiment and try different things but I like to keep it pretty simple so for the text you guys can use this right here and what I simply wrote was hey I'd love to work with you what are your rates for sponsored post you know nice and simple it doesn't have to be anything crazy you know the second form of communication that you guys can also do is of course sending messages to uh, DM either Twitter or Instagram right these people are getting usually tons of messages a day just because obviously you guys aren't the usually not the only ones that are reaching out to them trying to get them to work out a deal you know for a sponsored post so you want to find ways that you can stand out the two most recent pictures make sure you like and comment on those that somewhat kind of gets their attention whenever that happens to me like catches my attention a little bit even though obviously I may not be as big as these pages you can start off by that then right after you do that make sure you hit them with a the DM that way they're getting different notifications they can see that you're trying to obviously reach out to them so these are simple things that you guys can do when you're reaching out to them now when it comes time for the dm when you're sending it you want to make sure just like when you email them and the subject line you guys use you being very clear and specific but you also want to find a way that you can hook these uh influencers with specific words right in the beginning that way before they open your direct message they have an idea of what message you're trying to get across with them or what you want to do right so usually what i do is when i'm sending a direct message to any of the influencers i try to really grab the attention off the back so what i do is all in caps i'll write business inquiry and i'll write that all in caps to make sure that they know exactly why i'm messaging them I'm not just trying to waste their time. And usually what I try to do is, you know, it just includes some emojis to make it seem obviously a lot more genuine. I'm not. Once you find an 
content influencer actually you can work with. You want to see that you want to establish a lot more of a relationship with this influencer because if the first post or deal that you guys work out goes really well, you can then work out more deals with them and obviously generate even more money through these influencer posts. So they like to connect with the people that you know they're working with. So obviously if you're just reaching out and you're you know you're just messaging them to waste their time or if you're not being clear about what specific intentions you have with them, then it's likely that they won't answer your DM or they may not want to work with you. So just keep it simple. This is what I write right here. You guys can literally use the same template. Again, you guys can change it up, but I literally got a DM just like this. I'm actually going to post it on here. You guys can see it. It wasn't my personal DM. It wasn't for an influencer post, but it actually grabbed my attention and they did the same thing. They did a fire emoji in all caps. They wrote video idea and then a money bag. So right off the top, like I know exactly what the message is about. It catches my attention, has, you know, the emojis and it makes you actually want to click on it to find out you know what the message is about so coming down to it i already mentioned this but again some of the things you guys want to keep in mind is that it is all a numbers game so you know it's just like sales when i was doing door-to-door -door sales there was a specific amount of doors that i would have to knock every single day until i would get my first sale a day get my second sale a day it's the same thing with this so in order to come in contact with these influencers you're going to have people that are just super busy till they'll, till they'll never respond some people that they do respond but then like maybe their social media pages aren't the best like they don't have good engagement things like that you know there's always going to be something right so you want to make sure that you're reaching out to enough people where it you know it makes sense for you to get some type of responses if you're only reaching out to you know four to five people obviously it may not even be as likely that you'll get one response so you want to just up your chances so the more people you, you obviously you message the more likely you are to get a response the next thing you want to keep in mind is after they respond you want to make sure that you are checking out their pages to make sure that they're legit and then you don't get ripped off because one thing that can happen is that you can have influencers or you know fake influencers don't make these pages but they really just bought like all their followers and they bought all their likes and all these things you can check you know, there's different websites that you can do to check their engagement and on their following and all that great stuff i can definitely make a video just you know literally separately on that and how you can do so let me know actually drop a comment let me know if you guys would want to see a video of how you can check out you know the social media pages and their following and how you can verify if they're actually you know a real influencer page or not and also leave me a like if you guys like to see more videos like this on influencers and you know how you can really come in contact with these influencers and how you can verify influencer pages i have heard stories of people that have gotten ripped off on influencer posts that have paid you know maybe one or two hundred bucks and end up making no sales and actually funny fact one did happen to me uh when i first got started when I did one of my first influencer posts, when I didn't know obviously what I was doing, I paid 50 bucks. I, I set up the influencer post, sent it over. I did not check their following was real, their engagement was actually there. Like I, I somewhat checked, but I didn't do like a thorough check, checking like other websites and things like that. And we ended up working a deal. Good thing it was only a $50 shout out that I had arranged with them, but ended up actually getting no sales. And it wasn't that bad of a product. It was actually a decent product because I ended up testing with a different influencer and it ended up working. So I know it wasn't the product, it was actually the influencer. So make sure you guys don't have any anything like that happen to you guys. That's pretty much everything I have for Instagram influencers. Again, if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you drop a comment and let me know. If you got any value from this video, make sure you leave the boy a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.